I'm going to show you how to make a galaxy uh, using Maya. And the way how it's going to work is that I'm going to have a uh, image that is on a plane where the particles will generate from a image or the color. And this black and white is where the um, particles will be born on the image. Of course, the black, that's where no part be born, and all the white areas, or the more white here and dense here, will be a lot more particles. So, I'll go back to Maya. So the first thing here, what we need to do is to create a plane. Let me go over here. Next, uh, go into your FX tab, and go to your M particles, and then we are going to emit from object, doing that. And you can see here my plane, here my outliner, here's my emitter. And next thing in here, if I hit plane now, um, we got particles emitting from the vertices. But that is not exactly what we want. We want to change the emitter type to surface. And now if I re rewind, play, you can see it's emitting from the surface right now. But also you can notice that um, we have gravity on there. We don't quite want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the uh, emitter and we are going to go down here to speed and now uh, we hit play it's still happening um, one thing here since I'm using the end particles what I need to do is go to the nucleus do that and then a the nucleus here in the gravity I want to turn it out to zero and now we have particles being born but we need a lot more particles so we can go to the emitter and I'm going to do 10,000 particles. And now I hit rewind. Something like that. Okay. And the next thing here, um, I'm going to uh, scroll down in the middle here. And then here on the bottom here, we have things called texture emission attributes. Do that. Here is where you add your color map or your image to the, uh, the plane. And here you add your black and white where it's going to emit from. So I'll click this little checkerboard. I'm going to go to Maya. Oops, I had a mask on there. Sorry about that. Um, go to Maya. And I'm going to type find. There it is, fine. And I'll find it on my desktop. Uh, choose the color. You can see here is a PNG it has a transparent on it. On that, um, and then next in here we go back. We can go to texture rate, and we're going to choose the file again. And we're going to choose the black and white. So now if you hit rewind and play, we got there. But it's not quite working yet. So what we need to do is we need to click inherit color doing that and also what I want to do is I want to inherit opacity so basically where it is no image or no um, uh, just black it will not emit from there so if when I hit play of course we got the warning sign here um, and then what we're going to do is select the particle and we want to go to the um, per particle array attributes and we'll scroll down here, we will go down to add dynamic attributes. First thing we can do is hit color and then add per particle attribute. Hit like that. And then if I hit play, well actually you just hit opacity to add per particle attributes. And now if I hit play, you start seeing a galaxy coming on there. Alright, I'm gonna select this. And I'm going to show, I'm going to hide the polygon so now we can see a little bit better like that. So if I extend this to maybe to a thousand, there we go. We can apply a little more particles to that. Go to the emitter, go to the top here. I'm going to be brave. <laughs> uh, hit rewind, hopefully, plays. There we go. And we have a galaxy. What you also can do is you can see it's very flat. 
So we can change the max distance to one, like that, and then hit rewind. You can see now we get a little thickness there. All right, let's hit play. So what I want to do now is I want to go for a little while here, and then what I want to do is I want to do a initial state. Do that. What that is basically is that I, maybe I just want to start off from this right here, image or particles at this state right here, rather than hitting rewind and make the galaxy grow the whole time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just hit stop. Uh, now it's great looking. So and you can see here spins around. And when I want to go into my fill and solver, and down here, initial state, you want to hit selected. And right now we at um, frame 59. So if I go down to um, initial state, hit selected. Oops, I need to select the object first <laughs> before I do that. Um, and then go into initial state and hit select. And now if I hit rewind and go to my emitter and turn all the way down to zero. And now if I hit play, I have a frozen galaxy. Then, you know, if you want to be real destructive, of course, you can add a turbulence to it. And we can do zero. And hit play. You can see the galaxy being slowly being destroyed. And you can add like other kind of cool stuff like Newton and um, uh, so you can get add like a like a black hole, so like that. You can have lots of fun destroying galaxies this way. Well, that is how you make a um, a galaxy using a image. All right, thank you and take care. Bye bye.